Hey guys, so today for this look, I really didn't know what I was going to do, but first we're going to start off with our eyebrows, and I'm just using my Chella Eyebrow Pencil, and I'm just going to be lightly filling these in here. Um, for this look, I did use um, just kind of an easy technique where I basically just use one brush, um, but you'll see in this video how I do it. I basically just use a blending brush, and for this one, I did use my favorite blending brush, which is the um, Luxie tapered blending brush that I received actually in an Ipsy bag um, but as I'll show in this video I basically just kind of do it in a rounded um, motion it is messy but it's very quick so when you're in a hurry like I was for this one I like to use it and I'm using two shades out of my um, Urban Decay um, Gwen Stefani palette I'm using the 1987 and then the other shade that I showed there I can't remember what the name of it is but I'm gonna take the lightest shade here and just kind of do it in a sweeping like rounded motion here with that blending brush as you can see and I'm taking on the outer side of that um, edge of my lid and just bringing it up into the crease area and then I'm going to go in with that darker shade um, as the second step and I will do the exact same motion but I'm going to go in a little bit closer to the um, inner side as you can see here and go up into the crease as well and it just kind of gives you like a tapered look, um, but it really gives you a blended eye look and it's really just quick and easy and super fast to do. And I like doing this technique whenever I'm doing a um, shimmer shadow on my lid because it's really easy just to kind of almost cover your entire lid with that shimmer shade. So you don't have to really worry about it being too perfect because you're going to go in with that um, shimmery eyeshadow and kind of clean all of this up. And then here I'm going in with that shade Pop and that's from that exact same palette and then I'm also going in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and applying this all over my lid to help that shadow stay and then I'm going in and just applying this directly onto my lid and we're gonna make sure that it's just packed on really well Then we're going in with some MAC Prep and Prime and we're going to spritz our brush with that just to help give that shimmer um, a more intense look, kind of give it more of a metallicized look as well. <clears throat> and then we're going to bring that shade down on that inner corner. Then we're going in with blonde and we're going to apply that to our brow bone highlight and bring that down on the inner part of the eye to help blend all of those colors together. Like I said, this way is a little messier than normal, but it works. Then we're going to take those two shades that we used in the crease and outer area of our eye and bring those down onto the bottom lash line. Then we're going to go in with our Rimmel Nude Eyeliner and we're going to apply this to our waterline today. I wanted to keep those eyes very open and make them look wide awake. Then we're going in with a green eyeliner and I do not know the name of this. I believe it's just an old eyeliner that I got from Amazon. Or not Amazon, Avon, I'm sorry. And we're going to be applying this um, as a tight line on our upper lashes. Then we're going in and we're going to curl our top lashes. And then last but not least, we're going to go in and apply our mascara, and this is the Light Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte. This is an amazing mascara. This is another sample that I received um, in an Ipsy bag, and I am in love with all of the Tarte mascaras. But I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this and would like to see more. And also, to hit, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Thank you very much.